so uh, morning at the markets there's not many people around of course Thailand's in complete or total lockdown so almost everything's shut but I'll spin the video around and uh, you can have a look it's M's birthday so we're down here at the markets to buy some seafood and stuff we've got a few people coming over tonight well a couple of people so yeah we'll see how that goes a few beers and something to eat so I'll turn the uh, camera around so this is the local um, markets you can see there's a few people around there's no other shops open anywhere only 7-eleven and so there's still a few people here a few people getting around at the markets to buy food and that a lot of people don't have money to buy food some do so let's have a look in these markets I've done my my COVID check-in temperature wash the hands and everything Scurry there checking everyone out but uh, I just want to bring this to your attention now we all know that hygiene is a very important part of uh, preventing disease and uh, especially in this particular climate steps are taken you've got to wash your hands out the front before you go into the market and it all just runs out here and lies there in the gutter so as you can see steps being taken in some places and you'll find this probably all around Asia completely and totally illogical there's another wash basin there and another one here and they all just run out and lie in the street so if you're washing the COVID virus or whatever it is particles off your hands they just go out there and lie in the street fantastic fantastic really serious steps towards uh, local hygiene so have a look around the markets there's plenty of fresh fruit rambutan these things are absolutely beautiful I know a lot of you wouldn't eat them they're called chompu here they're uh, delicious they're a little bit like apples beautiful to eat okay so i'll head back down the back am's down there buying some seafood for tonight we've got a couple of guests coming around i don't know what the sound is going to be like i've sort of got it up close to my face at the moment you can see there are not many people here in this market usually this is wall-to-wall -wall people now there's a lot of produce but not too many people although a lot of people do come early in the morning but uh, of course I've been medicating so I didn't get up early so um, we'll go down the back this is uh, different types of prawn paste for making sambal and uh, chili paste dishes and for cooking you can buy it in bulk or you can buy it in jars garlic bigger garlic even bigger garlic you can get just about anything in the markets that you can get at the shops so consequently the markets are probably doing a better business now so what do you compared to most businesses some are not open of course so I know Anne bought something here fresh squid bass they call that here I think it's barramundi I'm not sure beautiful fresh seafood live seafood Oysters, 160. That's about uh, about five bucks. So, gonna go out the back and have a look for Ammon. She's out looking for seafood. This is the the wet part of the market where you buy meat and seafood and fruit and veg around the other side. So I'll just have a look for Ham. 
Yeah. Oh, there's not much seafood left here. We got here too late, so most of them have packed up and gone. So I've got to try and find them now. As you can see, some of them go and they don't bother cleaning up their mess. So I guess there's cleaners here that come around and do it at the markets. So you've got to have a look for am. Usually this is just loaded with stalls selling seafood. At the moment, there's uh, probably about 5% uh, of them are here. So not too many people. Fruit and veg, seafood, meat, etc. Okay, so I don't see M anywhere out here, so I better go and have a look for her back inside. Yes, this is the Cha'am Markets. Hello. Hello. Don't know where M is. This is the meat section. See all the meatballs made up over there. There's some mixes for, I would say, you know, for curries and for uh, chili dishes. Beautiful looking stuff. So I don't see her up ahead of me here anywhere. So I'll go and look up the other side here for her. Not sure where she is. I'm not using a gimbal, I'm just using a handheld thing to hold the phone, so I'm not sure what stabilization's like. But at this stage, getting content out is difficult enough anyway, rather too difficult to be uh, worried about that sort of thing. Kaffir lime leaves used for cooking. Papaya used for uh, green papaya. This is used for making the somtam. Papaya salad. Papaya pop pop. Some nice looking vegetables around. Nice. I love fresh produce. I've still got to find Am. I don't know where she's gone to. So I'll head back out towards the front and see if I can find her anywhere. Kangkong, Indonesian favourite. Bitter melons. I think they're a type of eggplant, these things here. Green beans, look at them, fresh produce, looks beautiful. Even at this time of the day, there's still a heap of really fresh stuff around because there's not so many people. But you can get all your cooking needs here. All your cooking needs. Oh, I think I spotted a... Not sure. I'll have a look, but I, I know she's going to go and have a look to buy some stuff for the temple and stuff like that, so I'm not sure where she is at the moment. I'll head back out the front and have a look. So chat um, markets, there's a few people around. It's not shoulder to shoulder, which makes it a bit safer for everyone concerned. You can even buy snacks in here. Or waffles on sticks. Well, I'm not concerned with that at the moment. You can buy your lottery tickets here. And where has she gone? There she is, buying some stuff for the temple. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. To me. There's some fruit. These are yummy, I love these rambutan. What's this one called in Thai? Pasta Thai? Oh. Mangkut? Yeah, but 
ะไรอ่ะไม่รู้จักหนูก็ยังไม่รู้เลยมะม่วงแมงโป้งดแมงโป้ I think in Indonesian this one called uh, uh, mangosteen mangosteen This one called rambutan. In, in Thai, what do you call this one? Rambutan. Ne? Ne? Pasa Thai? No. No. Okay, so that's it at the market. And uh, I think we're going to head home now. So a little trip in the situation to um, to. Uh, markets and uh, as you can see you know Am's the complete opposite to most Asian women I walk behind her and she carries all the shit <laughs> fortunately I've got plenty of room in this bike to put stuff so shopping and stuff like that we don't have to bring bags and a whole heap of shit to store everything because Everything can go in here quite easily. So you can see that's every everything that we've bought at the markets in the bike. Close the lid, and Am's gone up to the ATM. The um, evening markets where you go and buy all your snacks and goodies and food of an afternoon. It's still open, I think, but you've seen that in a couple of previous videos. One I had done, especially for my very good friend, Mr. Watts. Now that's over here. That's this section over here, which opens in the afternoons. As you can see, there's a lot of people sell lottery tickets to make a living. The lotteries are everywhere. There's plenty of people around. And it's gone to the ATM, I'll go to the seven. Look, Lotus. These guys are making a killing at the moment, Grab and Food Panda. Although Food Panda's on the outer in Thailand because they, you know, threatened to have one of their employees arrested for going to the protests and there was an uproar over it and thousands and thousands of people deleted their food panda app and uh, also a lot of stores stopped using them for that reason anyway I don't know if I can film in here or try this is just a local little supermarket Lotus Tesco Lotus changed their name now and done the shop up a little bit so yeah I'm gonna buy so, uh, this store is also good for shopping in actually they have some good stuff at good prices um, you know you've got the meat section fridge there you go 90 baht a kilo for these uh, chicken tenders okay so 90 baht is around two dollars fifty or something like that at the moment Aussie two dollars fifty three dollars Aussie for a kilo of chicken tenders. Come on. You done yet? No? Hello, hello, mate. And that's where the uh, afternoon food market is over there. We're doing all right. We're doing all okay. We've had our moments. Uh, sometimes it's a bit like a couple of angry cats being, you know, stuck together in a corner somewhere, being stuck in the house all day. There's only so much YouTube you can do, only so much reading you can do, only so many things you can talk about. It's uh, finding some amusement for the brain. Okay. Lau. Okay then. Okay. Gonna head back to the bike now and head home. Em's gonna do some cooking and I think she's got some 
friends coming over later. I'm not sure if all of them are coming or not. It's a bit dicey at the moment, having a group gathering anywhere. Although our neighbours are really good, I know none of them would ring up and uh, complain to anyone or uh, spruik any bullshit about us, so we're pretty right that way. Okay, heading back to the bike. I think Am's got a bag full of uh, sticky rice there. Well, not yet sticky rice, but the special rice they use to cook sticky rice. It's not ordinary rice, so anyway, she's got that. That'll keep her happy. Sticky rice and seafood. So we'll see what happens. Okay, there's the markets. That's the end of this one. Back home. Ciao for now.